In this video, I'm going to show you how to operate the Midia air source heat pump um, from the remote controller. This video is designed for homeowners. So there's a couple of things you need to look out for on your system. The first is that somewhere in your house you'll have some kind of thermostats. They may not look like this, but there will be thermostats either on your underfloor heating or uh, for your radiators. This is what actually controls the unit. Um, so your day-to-day -day use of the unit will be turning the thermostats on and off, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this is something that your heating engineer is gonna show you how to do because every thermostat is different. But as a rule, if you want your heat pump to stop, turn all your thermostats off. And if you'd like it to start, turn them all on. My advice to you for smooth running and to make life cheaper and easier is always try and set your thermostats to one temperature and leave them on that temperature 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Heat pumps like to be left running all the time. Now somewhere in your house you will have the uh, media remote controller which looks like this and really as a rule you shouldn't get involved with this too much but it's quite nice to be able to know what's going on. So you can see at the moment my controller is asleep um, if I press the OK button, you can see it comes to life. And I'll explain what some of this stuff means. So the first thing you'll see over here, this is our heating um, part of the controller. So it says that when my unit goes into heating, it is going to heat the water to 40 degrees centigrade. The way this system is set up is that the temperature of your radiators or underfloor will change depending on how cold it is outside. So on a very cold day, you'll see this temperature will go up and as the weather gets warmer outside, this temperature will go down. This is called weather compensation. It's a great feature, it saves you lots of money. The screen at the middle tells you what's actually happening at the moment. So it's currently off, obviously, and heating is off as well. And over on the right is our hot water section. So this tells me that currently my hot water tank is at 12 degrees C, so pretty cold. So this is kind of the idle state that you'll see the system in. A Couple of things that are quite interesting. So if you scroll, over to the heating side and you press on off, you'll see it says turning on and off the heating mode is controlled by the room thermostat. So it basically says, please stop pressing these buttons. This heating is not controlled from here. So just press okay. And if you want your heating to turn on, nip over to your thermostats, wind them up like so, there's a little click. And what you'll see in a few seconds is that this will come on and it will say heating on, you'll hear all your pumps starting, and within five or six minutes, the unit will get going and start heating the house. The secret with heat pumps is don't rush anything. Um, you need to wait, and there we go, there it's on. Um, and so if we give it a few minutes now, we'll start seeing some heat in the radiators and so on. And likewise with the hot water, if you scroll over here, you can see as soon as you scroll over, there's your set temperature, which you can adjust up and down. My advice would be to leave it about 50. And if I press on off, you'll see that the little symbol shows here. And in a second, the machine will jump into on and DHW mode or domestic hot water mode. Um, because hot water is more powerful than heating. So it will always do the cylinder first, and when the cylinder's nice and warm, it will revert back to heating. It cannot do both at once. So hopefully that explains how everything is working. If something goes wrong with the unit, what you'll see is a fault message will come up. It's always in text. Um, so you'll actually see a fault code, and it will say a two-digit code, maybe E3, for instance, and a description. If this comes up, get a photo, make sure you send this to your service engineer before he arrives, um, because that information is very, very useful. And one last thing I'll leave you with before uh, ending this video is the controller, after five minutes, locks itself, and you see a little padlock appears here. Um, and once this appears, none of these buttons work except for this one. So you just press unlock for five seconds and then the controller's back to life. But as I say, as a rule, best not to play with the controller very much. Keep using your thermostats out there in the house and everything will be good.